Interbark Outdoors coverage of SHOT Show 2016 is brought to you by Tops Knives, the operator's edge. These are the 10-speed belt-mounted pouches. And uh, you can see across the top, we'll start with the cuff pouch. Um, we'll start with actually the colors, and, and, and all of these pouches are available in these colors. We've got black, coyote, multicam, olive drab, and wool. Um, so for these purposes, all the rest of the pouches I'm going to show you are going to be in wolf for the display. The cuff pouch works like this. Um, your handcuffs, these work better for chain cuffs as opposed to hinge cuffs, but they will work for both. Your handcuffs fit in, and there's a convenient snap there to make sure they're retained. The belt mounting system is the same for all of the pouches. It's this uh, Velcro, which is very user friendly because it has a very easy tear strength but it has a very industrial tinsel strength. So you can see that once these pouches are mounted on your belt correctly, they're not gonna come off until you physically peel the Velcro off. Now there are a couple of tricks to, for example, anything that's gonna carry a heavier item like a cuff pouch. I have found that uh, putting this belt pouch on a belt such as this, uh, this narrower belt here, I, I place it on the belt and then I work my fingers into the Velcro and continually tighten it until it's as tight against the belt as I can actually get it. And that prevents any play which uh, for covert operations would, would uh, cause potentially my cuffs or my magazine pouch or something like that to print outside of the shirt. So that's the cuff pouch. There are a num number of different pouches available too. This is a double magazine pouch for your pistol. There's also a single magazine pouch um, that's missing from the display at the moment. Same mounting system on the back. It's an ultra comp material, which is a nylon faced laminate material that's slick enough to provide for easy reinsertion of the magazine into the pouch. They're very easy to get out. Retention is very high with the elastic 10 speed material, just like on the traditional 10 speed pouches. But this uh, nylon faced ultra comp material on the back also allows for easier uh, replacement of the magazine in the pouch. Additionally, because it's softer uh, material, it will actually conform somewhat to the contours of your body, making it that much potentially more concealable. It weighs next to nothing. And so when these pouches are not filled with your, uh, with your magazines, or um, you can even place uh, small flashlights and other items that will fit uh, in the pouch, when, they're not, when it's not full, it weighs next to nothing and you hardly even know it's there. This is the high-rise M4 uh, magazine pouch for, for folks who like the, their M4 magazines on their belts to ride a little bit higher. It provides a little more space on the body for concealment purposes. Um, and there's also a lower-rise variety of M4 pouch, which can fit other items. Cell phones uh, are, are a good example. Um, the older Taser X26 would fit in these pouches. Some smaller radios will also fit in these pouches. So you have the versatility of the 10-speed system with the interoperability of the belt-mounted system. The next pouch that's up is the 10-speed uh, dump pouch. It's a helium whisper dump pouch uh, in the 10-speed system. So your dump pouch actually stores behind this piece of elastic here. Again, the same belt-mounted system. And to deploy the belt pouch is simply grasping this tail, pulling down, and your pouch falls out in front of you. And now you can open it up and place whatever items you want in there. Um, these are good for, for police officers, for, uh, let's say, pocket litter from suspects. These are also good for uh, any items that don't fit in a cargo pocket. These are also good, obviously, on the range for spent magazines and things like that. All right, so this is the, uh, the U-loop. It's a composite plasticized material, um, and, and it really fills a, a void where you don't have an integral side sling swivel on your gun, um, for example, and you would like one without replacing rail systems, without buying bolt-on systems. So it's a really simple process to, to to add this to your farm or anything else. This also could work on backpacks, it could work anywhere. It, anywhere that will accept this size loop, you now have the opportunity to place a sling or any other product that you can mount to the, to the uh, uh, sling swivel itself. So it's just this little component here, and you can see it comes in and locks. About 200 to 250 pound brake strength, so you can brake it, but it's gonna be uh, a challenge for you to do so locks into place really nice and tight there and uh, there again anywhere where you can fit that loop you now have an opportunity to mount a sling weight on these is eight grams it comes in black coyote 
uh, Ranger Green and Wolf. 